Hello and welcome to pdfsupply.com. Today we're going to be testing a 9070 processor. I have here an IC697 CPU 780 and I have it in a IC697 CHS 750 five slot rack. The rack is empty because we're just going to be testing the processor and it's being powered by an IC697 PWR 711 power supply. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already turned the power supply on and I have an OK light. This is the top LED is on. If this light on your processor is off or if it's blinking or you have some sort of a blinking pattern, then there's definitely something wrong with your processor and you won't be able to follow this test. Uh, this is something that we typically look at here and we do offer exchange programs, remanufactured and new units. So if that's something that interests you, please see us at pdfsupply.com. So now that it's powered up and I'm connected, uh, and keep in mind there's only one port, the only one port that we can test on this processor, unlike the other ones. We're going to connect up to it, and there's no LED that tells us that it's communicating, so we're just going to go by what we see in Prophecy Machine Edition, is what I'm using, GE software. Uh, I'm connected, and I'm going to put myself into program mode. And once I've done that, go to Target, Online Commands, and Clear. And this is a memory clearing selection. Now, the only thing that you want to clear is controller fault table and I.O. fault table. Nothing else because you could risk losing something that you're trying to save. And hit OK. Once you've successfully done that, go ahead and click download and run, which is the uh, download information and run button in one. The only thing that we're going to build here is hardware configuration and logic. We're not going to do any force values or we're not going to write anything to the flash memory. So uh, again, this is just a simple test and our goal here is to try to get the processor into run mode. That's what we need to do to see that the processor is uh, functioning properly. Now incidentally, with this particular processor, CPU 780, it is required that you have an RCM 711 uh, that's that's in the to the right of the processor and in a uh, under rack one a BEM 711 so just keep that in mind they don't actually have to be there but you you need to tell the navigator that these are in the slots in the rack uh, without that you won't be able to get it into run mode so now that I'm, I'm done with the build I am in run mode and we want to first test this toggle switch here. It's a three-point switch. The LEDs are as follows. Top one is OK, middle one is run, and the bottom one is I.O. input output enabled. And it's enabled when it's illuminated, as you see here. So when I take it down one notch, it shuts off the I.O. So that the I.O. is disabled. And then down one more notch, the run is disabled. So that switch works perfectly. Next switch, of course, is the memory protect on the top. Once we turn it, the LED comes on telling us that the memory protect is in fact working. So we're good with that. And that's pretty much the whole test. So uh, what we would recommend if you think you're having a problem with this processor is leave it running overnight um, or a couple days over a weekend, whatever time that you have, and leave it in run mode. And when you come back, you're hoping to see that it's still in run mode. If for any reason, it comes out of run mode. What you want to do is connect up to it with your Prophecy Machine Edition again. Go to Target on the top menu, Diagnostics. You click on that and in your Info Viewer you're going to have a fault table that's going to come up and it'll tell you why it popped out of run mode. So if, if you still can't uh, figure out what's wrong with it, again we look at these processors all the time and repair them and we're happy to help. I hope this helped you. Thank you.